Silence sur le plateau. Moteur. Action. This period, la belle époque, was only represented in village into the park. So we wanted to include it in a show. Um, it also allowed us to expand the timeline of the park. It stopped in the 18th century, and we now go to the 20s. And finally, the idea uh, was to also to treat and to pay tribute to three prides of France, uh, the heroes of aviation and World War I, more lightness, more delicacy than in Les Amoureux de Verdun, another immersive show in the park, uh, through a love story, um, the pioneers of silent and black and white cinema, um, Melies, uh, the Light Brother, and the third, uh, Gypsy Circus World. Uh, finally, this show cannot be uh, compared to any other show in the park. It's, um, it's a mix of poetry, uh, surprises, and romance. This show requires 16 actors to play just over 100 characters in a 20-second We need two castings, and this represents a minimum of 32 actors dancers on stage. And uh, in backstage, we need one costume designer, uh, four technicians, two on set and two in the control room, and three backstage assistants for set handling and help with dressing or security. Uh, you should know that during the creation period, in, in, in addition to external companies, 250 talents from the Puy de Fou took part in this novelty during the winter period. Uh, maintenance staff, um, set designer, costume designers, makeup artist. Everybody have been working at Pudifu for years and have been trained in house. Without them, it wouldn't be the success it has today. So it's a team effort and we are very, very proud of it. I think uh, there, there were three main difficulties on Le Mime et l'Etoile. The first, uh, the black and white content which became a strength. It is easy to say, but on stage, nothing is really black and white. Uh, it is all grayness, uh, so that to the eyes of the visitor, the gray appears black, thanks to the association of lights and customs, but specifically, uh, both made specifically for this wonderful show. Um, second, the permanent movement of the scene actors and sets. The actors work on a moving floor, a moving walkway. Uh, so everything is timed and programmed. For example, the main moving set in the background uh, is an impressive machinery carrying big decors, approximately 140 tons at eight kilometers per hour. It cannot be stopped and restarted. If we stop this effect, the video mapping wouldn't be synchronized to the set, so the show has to stop. And third, um, the integration of many effects in the same place with short time of installation. So everything needs to be precisely at its place. A, a prototype system developed from this, for this project allows to locate all the sets and actors in real time to specialize the sound, the light, and the video. Uh, it was a big challenge for us. And um, many companies worked at the same time, at the same time on this project, and the coordination was really important. Having a ninja is easier to manage all the artistical aspects. Uh, for example, machineries are fragile and cannot stay outside. 
the visitor are more immersed in this story thanks to dedicate indoor lights and sound. Um, uh, the indoor is, uh, is also to improve the comfort of the visitors and adapt to the meteorological conditions um, and the opening from April to November, um, warmer summers, uh, rainy autumns. So um, an indoor show is indeed more adapted to a winter season that we already had in Puy Fou, but it's not the reason for the creation of this indoor show. The overall budget is 20 million euros, 50% uh, for the construction and 50% for the artistic part, set and accessories, machinery, and other special effects. Et vous êtes bien évidemment les bienvenus en France pour découvrir l'ensemble de tous les merveilleux spectacles du Puy du Fou. And viva Italia!